Okay, so these kits are getting more complicated. These creations that we're turning with a motor. I've got a little variable resistor right here that when I turn it, the motor turns faster or slower. And we can dial it down until it stops completely. Get it to go pretty slow. It's running off of this battery. And I've got some wiring that connects to the motor. And um, I've got another video that's already up on this channel that shows how to do that wiring. So what we're doing is using these single pins, blocks or bricks that have single pins, $1.25 for the Lego minifigure, $1.25 for the kit. There are many of these kits, different, uh, different kits. Here we 3D printed a small base plate. Some have an X hole in the middle. Some of our other 3D printed stand-up paddleboard has an X hole. Some of them though have a round hole. Now, I need to talk about the size of the round hole. It has to be a little bit smaller than five millimeters. This stud is just a little smaller than five millimeters. Some of these other parts that we've got are in the five millimeter range. So this drill bit is slightly smaller than five millimeters. That way we get good friction and, and it holds the kit onto the base plate. Needs to, the hole needs to be a little smaller than this stud. Here's another case of where I drilled a hole in a base plate using that drill bit. That way, when we put a pin through it, it will really stay in place. You, you want to have your pin match your hole size. So that's what we've got going on here. This is about as large a base plate as I would want to, um, to build. There's the motor. It's got an axle on it. And an extension and then an axle coming up through the board with some way to secure it so it stays pretty level and stable. That's important to do that. Quite a lot more things we can put on this base plate. We could make a parade, we could make a bunch of people paddling their boats. Lots of things we can do. So there will be more.